Well, President Donald Trump officially underway today with the Senate wrapping up its vote within the last half hour on whether it is constitutional. Our Washington correspondent Alexander Lamone joins us live with the details. Alex. Hi, good evening. And 56 senators voted that this impeachment trial is in fact constitutional. That means six Republicans voted with Democrats after hearing arguments from both sides. It's all about the facts. Using videos and tweets, lead impeachment manager Congressman Jamie Raskin laid out the case against the former president. We're going to walk down to the Capitol. Yeah. 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 Democrats say it's clear Trump is responsible for the breach of the U.S. Capitol, where rioters attacked police and shouted threats at members of Congress. And if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. While condemning the violence, the president's lawyer, Bruce Castor, gave a glimpse of what their defense will be for President Trump. In the first article of the Bill of Rights is the First Amendment, which says Congress shall make no law abridging freedom of speech. Castor also argued prosecuting a former president in a Senate trial is unconstitutional, and he issued a warning against doing it. The floodgates will open. Congressman Raskin says not only is holding the Senate impeachment trial of Trump constitutional, he says it would be dangerous not to. It's an invitation to the president to take his best shot at anything he may want to do on his way out the door, including using violent means to lock that door, to hang on to the Oval Office at all costs. And now that the issue of constitutionality has been decided, starting tomorrow, we'll hear arguments on the actual issue at hand, which is whether President Trump incited the riot and attack on the U.S. Capitol. Well, Alexander, can you lay out the arguments made by former President Trump's lawyers? Well, today, again, they mostly focused on whether this trial is constitutional, but they also touched a bit on the fact that they argue this entire impeachment process is a political sham that they claim Democrats are trying to use for their own political advantage. They say the entire process was rushed and happened without due process. So surely those are all arguments that we will see them use uh, throughout the, the, the next couple of days of the trial, in addition to the fact that they're going to argue, like we saw today, Day a little bit of that the president, the former president, was, you know, just simply exercising his First Amendment right and freedom of speech when he made the comments he made. So, what can we expect in the days ahead in this trial? So we'll hear a strong rebuttal from the House impeachment managers, and we saw them really, you know, kind of weave together their their case against the president using these videos and some new videos we hadn't seen before from the actual rioters themselves in the crowd, you know, cell phone videos, and also the U.S. Capitol has so many security cameras. So weaving in all of these new pieces of video and new pieces of evidence that we hadn't seen before to try to build their case against the former president. All right, Alexander Lamone, live for us in Washington tonight. Thank you.